My name is Kelly Larson. I work here at the Fish Crew. Um, we're just in an aquarium specific store up here in Fort Collins, Colorado. We've been open just over four years. The idea came from a previous aquatic store that had been here in town that several of us actually worked at. And Matt was the manager there as well. The owners um, were just previous employees of that establishment, Jocelyn and Michael Crespin. The wheels got turning, they wanted to do just an aquatic store. So we all just kind of broke off, decided the fish crew was going to be our next you know, endeavor. We're all fish nerds deep, deep down. So, I mean, we can all just relate on kind of just like our core values as far as the business goes, as far as livestock goes. From a young age, I always had kind of this love for water and, you know, aquatic things. I would catch crayfish, tadpoles, I mean, everything. I moved to Fort Collins to go to CSU. I moved here from Michigan. The first real job I got in town was working with Matt at the other pet store. I had had aquariums in the past and been anything but successful with them. So he helped me out. He got me set up with my first, you know, eight gallon tank. I did so well, I now have seven tanks. <laughs> That's kind of the beauty of this hobby. It's really rewarding. And so we're really big into Kessel. Um, it started off as kind of a small love affair and it's just, it's only grown. So even a lot of our employees use Kessel. I use Kessel over my freshwater at home. I wouldn't have it any other way. We um, didn't always have them over our frag tables, but as soon as we switched, it was like, what were we doing before? Why did we have these other lights? They're just really great. They give you that shimmer. You get all the, I mean, the colors. Having Kessels over our coral tables, it makes it easier for us to sell our customers Kessels because they see the color, they see the growth. Um, they'll pick up frags, colonies, they'll get at home and say, well, why doesn't it look the same in my tank as it looks in your tank? And I say, well, <laughs> I can show them pictures from like my home tanks, even fresh water is like I pop a Kessel on that and I have to trim my tank every three days. In our entryway, the first thing you see when you walk in will be this beast here. Um, it's our you know main attraction, 2,200 gallons. Um, we got this set up, filled with water and sand. Matt stayed the night a few nights, Matt our manager, just to sleep beside it and make sure nothing ca catastrophic happened. A lot of the fish are like hand-me-downs from customers with tanks the, the fish outgrew, or you know, they're moving, they're breaking their stuff down, they just want a good home for their larger fish. So we have this little dude cruising around. Um, he's a bamboo shark. Um, it's technically a quote-unquote shark tank, but we haven't always had a shark in there, so it's nice to actually have a shark cruising around in there. Kids especially get really excited to see him. Bruce is like, he's our guy. He's like our store mascot. anything ever happens to him and he dies he's gonna be taxidermied and like hung on the wall that is how attached we all are to this fish a lot of people do travel just to see the tank they'll come in just you know they'll bring their kids they'll bring their spouses we're just we're really focused on getting you know everyone kind of interested in aquatics and a lot of people will come in here and they're just like well we wanted to look around we've been kind of interested in fish and then nine times out of ten they leave with an aquarium so that's nice. In our freshwater section, we kind of start with live bears. We move on to smaller, you know, semi-aggressive fish that can be kept in a community. Saltwater systems are gonna be larger fish, more aggressive fish. Our first coral table will be specifically for frags. The middle one is more for acros, other stony corals, things that need a little more flow. And then the last coral table will just be for larger colonies and things like that. If anyone's ever up in Fort Collins, even if you're just in Colorado, I swear it's worth the drive just to come up and you know have a little conversation with one of us. We're always really glad to answer any questions anyone might have. Fish keeping is just very rewarding. Fish have personalities, fish are great. Fish are like little dogs and cats. I love fish. <laughs> and everyone else should too. <laughs>